Welcome to the Reptile Party's YouTube channel. Today, we're talking about tegus. Welcome once again to my YouTube channel, the Reptile Party's YouTube channel, uh, based in Calgary, Alberta, but uh, being viewed worldwide. We've had quite a few new subscribers lately and likes and views, so uh, everyone who's signed up uh, as a subscriber, thank you so much. That really means a lot. And I have had tegus now for about 13 years. Uh, super smart animals. I love them. And if you caught our video, which I'm going to post a card for you guys to check out, uh, you would have met Brutus and Rufus. We did a video uh, filming them feeding in an outdoor pond or outdoor pen in the fall. Uh, but this year has not been a great start uh, for the company, for me. Um, in December, uh, Rufus passed away suddenly, um, which was absolutely heartbreaking for everybody. Uh, our staff, um, people that had seen him every year at summer camps, things like that. Uh, I took it really hard. We all took it really hard. Uh, when an animal passes away here, uh, depending on the circumstances, we do one of multiple different things. Uh, sometimes they are uh, cremated. Sometimes they are uh, uh, used for other things. Uh, in his case, uh, he is going to be living on, uh, much like the Cayman Lizard uh, from two weeks ago that I showed that uh, we had his skin and his skull done. Uh, we're actually going to get him fully mounted so when we have uh, public displays, exhibits, things like that, uh, people can see a full tegu skeleton uh, and that'll be kind of his lasting legacy. So that was really hard, uh, but then doubly shocking was uh, a month later, almost to the day when Brutus, uh, we found Brutus had passed away. And that just came out of, out of nowhere. Uh, Brutus was a lot younger than Rufus. Um, Rufus was probably more age, uh, but neither of them showed any signs of illness. Neither of them had any change in appetite. Uh, they were themselves, no change in personality. Concerned, uh, I did have a necropsy done uh, on Brutus uh, at our amazing vet, uh, Avenida, Avenida Vet in, uh, in here in Calgary, which is fantastic for reptiles and all animals. And uh, uh, Brutus died of cancer. So a lot of people don't realize that reptiles, like <laughs> seemingly like every living thing, uh, can get cancer. So uh, that was that was hard to deal with. It's it's a relief in some ways to know because uh, you know if if you can do a necropsy, especially if you have more than one animal, um, because you do double like question yourself. You do wonder like what might have happened did I do something and the good news is, is is we didn't it was just nature and so she had uh, he had liver cancer and that was uh, that was really tough because uh, we had to say goodbye to both of them uh, but we do have uh, two other tegus now both of these uh, I've had one of them for almost two years uh, the other one I got uh, before Brut Rufus even passed away I I'd, I'd ordered it um, so this wasn't replacing them, just I love Tegu, so the opportunity arose to be able to get uh, the newest one, and I took advantage of it. So let's, uh, let's meet our newest Tegu. So this is our newest Tegu uh, that we got uh, ordered in December, arrived in January from Tails and Scales out in Toronto, uh, which is also where we got our Cayman Lizard from, and we'd also gotten a male uh, juvenile Australian water dragon. So... Uh, it's one of those things where I've not seen red tegus available for really long. I hadn't seen any of those three available in a really long time. Um, so then uh, when, <laughs> when Nelson posted that he had them, I'm like, oh, okay. So, um, you know, I did have, have some funds to, to invest in, in the company and uh, knowing some of our animals like Rufus were getting older, I did want to get uh, another tegu so that when the time came, uh, I would have one. I just didn't expect it to be December. So red tegus, you can see how he gets his name because he's red. 
uh, and they are the largest of the tegus in terms of size and weight. So they are the ones that sort of are a bit more heavier set than the black and white tegus. Um, unfortunately, again with tegus as with a lot of reptiles, a lot of people overfeed them. Uh, there's a tegu that went viral uh, that was just like horrifyingly uh, overweight, uh, not cared for properly. Um, these animals, they, they have a stocky build as they grow, but they should not be like 20, 25 pounds. Uh, at this point, uh, he is eating an assortment of stuff. We just sort of give him appropriately sized food. Uh, he had salmon the other day. Uh, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Uh, he had, uh, so he gets fish, he'll get uh, shrimp, uh, crickets, superworms, uh, hornworm, caterpillars, uh, all sorts of uh, protein. We'll, we'll uh, fry up egg and give it to him. Um, we, because he's too small to eat like a whole quail egg at this size. What you doing, little buddy? He's not entirely sure about this. We've mostly been leaving, leaving him alone. We take him out occasionally, but like a lot of animals, he's kind of a little spazzy when he first comes out and then he settles. So hopefully that'll continue as we, as we work with him. So yeah, bugs, uh, different protein, uh, some fruit. So, you know, that's the thing is if you watch again, the black and white tegu video, that gives you an idea of like a big black and white. So this little baby is not going to stay this way. And so let's meet our next tegu, uh, which is also not yet adult sized, but uh, is quite a bit bigger. So this is my Argentine blue tegu Aquarius. I think it's a female, but I'm not entirely sure. She's not fully grown. She's about a year and a half, uh, maybe a year and eight months. Uh, they do grow fast though. So, I mean, even in a year, that little red tegu is gonna be this size or bigger. So blue tegus are kind of a uh, like subspecies or subcoloration of the black and white. They don't tend to get as big as the black and white. So a lot of them, especially the females, kind of cap out at around two feet, uh, maybe a little over three feet. Uh, at one point, uh, they're actually, this was a pretty rare uh, kind of coloring. Uh, I knew someone who uh, about 10 years ago said they had the only blue tegus in Canada. Uh, now they are more often available. Uh, they do come with a much higher price tag than the black and whites or the reds, but not uh, not as significant as it was 10 or 12 years ago. So tegus are really amazing animals. They're very smart. He does know who I am. Uh, it's taken a lot of work to get him this calm. Uh, as a baby, sometimes, especially because they're growing, they'll go through like a phase where they are just constantly hungry. So you open the door and they'll come charging at your mouth open. And unfortunately, that's what happened with uh, Aquarius here. Uh, when he was probably a little bit bigger than the red tegu, uh, he came exploding. He or she came exploding out of her enclosure when I went to go, I think, feed her or maybe take her out. And she landed on the floor safely, but then ran down the hall to the snake room and ran into the closet. <laughs> And the closet is both partially black, blocked by enclosures, but also has like a shelving unit that when it came in in the house, it's like a closet organizer. So I'm trying to chase this tegu around as it's running around in circles. And unfortunately, as I tried to scoop it up, he kept going and my hand closed around his tail. And then I ended up holding a tail. So that was really, really frustrating because as an adult, tegus will not drop their tail, but as a baby, they will. So you can see the difference in the coloring from where the tail dropped where the tail grows back. Now that does not mean that I love him any less. That does not mean that he is not still amazing. He's just a little different, but it was it was disappointing that, uh, that the tail did drop because that was just an accident and accidents can happen and you just hope for the best that it's not a serious accident. And yeah, he grew back its tail just like that. So really, really cool. I'm really happy with this animal. I'm gonna post a picture right now of it when I first got it as a baby. So cute. How cute and wee was that tegu? And the cool thing is, is when they are first hatched, they're green. And it was the same with the red tegu. The red tegu had been green, the black and whites. And then they change color as they grow, as they mature. Uh, it, uh, it starts off that green color. I haven't looked a lot into it, but I suspect it's because as a baby, they're gonna have a lot more predators. So they're wanting to camouflage, blend in with the grass. They are a bit more arboreal as a baby than they are as an adult. 
Once they start to get up around this size, they're not going to have many predators. Uh, jaguars, um, potentially like a boa constrictor, and people, and that's about it. So, uh, the the it's the challenge is, is to try and grow big enough and avoid predators to the point where you are the predator, not the prey. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed meeting our two tegus. Uh, again, two amazing animals. I am looking forward to seeing the red grow up. I'm looking forward to seeing the blue get even bigger. Uh, they've both appeared at public appearances uh, in the, well, the red hasn't because of COVID, but the blue did when it was younger and I can't wait for people to take this in because it's just such a beautiful, beautiful lizard. They both are and will be. Now, once again, uh, thanks to all of our, our new subscribers and our longtime subscribers. If you have not checked out our Patreon yet, uh, give it a look. The Patreon actually helps cover the costs associated with feeding our animals. Uh, you can imagine having 150 animals, it is a bit of a price tag, and so that helps uh, for the crickets, the food, the veggies, the meat, the eggs. Three dollars will feed uh, one of our smaller animals or a snake for a month. It starts at three bucks, six bucks, and ten bucks Canadian, and we have content every week. You get first look at our YouTube videos, you get uh, special stuff just for uh, patrons. And as the Patreon grows and as things kind of lift with COVID, we're gonna have contests and merch and things like that that you can also get discounts on or win. So sign up for the Patreon and we'll, uh, we'll see you on there. Uh, in the meantime, again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, uh, hit that bell, hit the like, comment down below. We love to comment and interact. And thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time.